12 Negative Habits That Ruin Your Confidence One of those elusive qualities that is difficult to explain yet easy to see is self-confidence. It affects almost every part of our life, including how we feel about ourselves, how we see others, how others see us, and how we perform in work and at school. It can be described as a feeling of faith in one's skills, traits, and judgment. Although crippling social anxiety or other mental health disorders that affects one's perspective of oneself can cause lack of confidence, this isn't always the case. You may not even be aware of the unintentional behaviors that are eroding your self-assurance. Let's examine a few of these inclinations and actions so you may learn to spot them and begin creating healthy behaviors in their place. Neglecting your appearance is number one. You're already aware of the value of proper hygiene and the need to take good care of your physical and mental well-being. Furthermore, it's crucial to understand that when you're ignoring your beauty, you're effectively disrespecting yourself. Furthermore, if you don't feel good about the way you appear, it will affect your self-esteem, especially in social circumstances. Although it might seem like a superficial aspect, taking good care of your looks can actually do a lot to boost your self-confidence. Number 2. Fixating on small flaws When you gaze in the mirror, you are quick to pick up on any inconsistency in your appearance. Do you focus on this defect all the time, making it seem like the only thing that you can see in your mind? In that case, you must stop. This behavior undermines confidence. Hyper-focusing on your imperfections might make you dislike what you see, even if you believe that you are simply being honest with yourself. When this occurs, instead of continually praising all that you love about yourself, you start to focus on all that you believe to be flawed. Your self-criticism ritual makes you feel depressed, insufficient, and embarrassed. Not the ideal setting for having a positive outlook. Try using the same energy to focus on positive aspects rather than the tiny defects inside of you. It might seem odd at the first because positivity is frequently earned the hard way when skepticism has become a habit. But everyday practice will change the way you feel about yourself, just like with any new habit that it's worthwhile forming. Talking about your perceived weakness is number three. The line between being modest about oneself and going too far is thin. Self-depreciation can sometimes come across as insecure, even though its intended purpose is to demonstrate that you're a regular person who doesn't take themselves too seriously. Additionally, if you continuously criticize yourself, people will notice and either become wary of hearing it or begin to suspect that perhaps you're not as terrific as you seem. If you must address a flaw, say it in a professional capacity. Think at it as a chance for improvement, much like a job interview. It'll demonstrate your readiness and drive to learn new talents and excel in more areas than simply those that come easily, even though there are still things that you can do still better. Overcomplimenting others is number four. Now, overcomplimenting someone is akin to telling them how much better they are than you. Naturally, it's important to lift others up, but if you do this so excessively and paint yourself as a tiny fish in comparison, you can start to buy into this story. Spend some time recognizing your own strengths and talents rather than perpetuating the cycle of overly appreciating others and undervaluing yourself. Observe that each person's talents and limitations are unique. In fact, none of us would stand out in the crowd if we are all the same, right? Don't overlook your great qualities because each of us has something unique to offer. Believing your own negative self-talk is number five. If you're like most individuals, you occasionally probably have bad ideas about yourself. Sadly, it is much simpler to trust the negative self-talk than the positive. And over time, this kind of thinking just undermines your confidence and self-worth, making it more difficult for you to have faith in yourself and accomplish your objectives. Learning how not to engage in certain thought patterns is more beneficial than using positive affirmations to change some of them. Don't ever take your negative self-talk too seriously. It will enable you to view life more objectively, paving the way for more overall enjoyment and consequently increased confidence. Excessive apologizing is item six. Do you ever find yourself apologizing to others when they accidentally bump into you? While apologies can be effective and significant, always being nice or saying sorry can undermine your self-esteem. 
An excessive amount of apology can give the impression that you don't trust your judgment or your abilities. You shouldn't apologize for something if you're aware that it wasn't your fault or if you didn't feel sorry for it. By doing so, you assign yourself the hubility and encourage others to consider yourself to be at fault. Apologies should be extended when necessary in order to maintain their efficacy and significance. Letting others make decisions for you is number seven. If you don't know what you want or don't think that your opinions count, then it's impossible to be confident. Expressing your desires in open, empowering ways helps you gain confidence. This is only possible when you pay attention to your inner voice, have faith in your judgment, and act on your desires. Your confidence will deteriorate if someone controls or manipulates you, dictates that they believe should occur, or pressures you to doing anything without taking into account of your requirements. Lowering your standards is number eight. Accepting less than what you deserve means that you must have standards to be comfortable with whatever occurs. Yes, you will feel more comfortable or convenient if you decrease your standards. Even while it can be a quick fix for now, it won't boost your confidence in the longer run. In actuality, lowering your standards devalues you and creates more issues than it resolves. Additionally, it is a slippery slope since once you start using it for one thing, it gets simpler to use for additional purposes. It's acceptable if we don't all share the same moral principles. However, having standards and upholding them will make you happier and undoubtedly more self-assured. Maintaining toxic relationships are number nine. The relationships that you have in your life have a big impact on your confidence. That's because your perception of yourself and the people around you are influenced by them. Your self-esteem is influenced by the closest to you, including your family, friends, colleagues, and even acquaintances. Your confidence will erode if others close to you consistently criticize or disparage you. Therefore, sit back and think about if your relationships are healthy for both sides, especially if being with these people has damaged your confidence. It's critical to surround yourself with upbeat people who value your well-being as much as their own if you want to be aggressive and confident. Number 10. Comparing yourself to other people. All of us have been there. As you become engrossed in the social media feed, you begin to realize that other people are achieving goals more quickly than you. Perhaps they're happier in their marriage, have a nicer home, or have better jobs than you. You experience feelings of envy, insecurity, and possibly even rage because of what these people possess. But hold on, is it truly as horrible as it appears to be? Humans naturally compare themselves to others because our brains are designed to look for differences and pass judgment. However, if you don't break this practice, it might harm your self-confidence. You can feel jealous or resentful of other people's successes as a result. Instead, make an effort to concentrate on your own personal qualities. And keep in mind that even if they may appear similar at first sight, everyone's root is unique. All of these harmful behaviors are indicators of low confidence, while some of them might appear unimportant. If left unattended for a long enough period of time, they can do a lot of harm. The secret is to spot these traps as they appear. With some practice, you'll be able to step in each time one of these negative habits arises and replace it with a constructive thought or action. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and tell your friends about it so that we can make more like it. Click the subscribe button to see more content like this. And don't forget to activate the notification bell. Check watch our other videos as well if you haven't already. Thank you for viewing.